a shout out to the sponsors of this video relevel relevel is a new program by an academy which has partnered with more than 50 top indian startups these include india's top 5 unicorns cred which offers a ctc of 14 to 16 lakh per annum for back end and front end development razor pay which is hiring for back end development roles and offers a ctc of 20 to 24 lakh per annum urban company offers a package of 3 to 6 lakh per annum for business development roles 1mg which is another unicorn hiring for back end development role and the ctc here is 10 to 30 lakh per annum digit which is one of the largest insurance providers is hiring for front end and back end developers at a ctc of 2 to 7 lakh per annum at tree level no one cares about your college and your degree you get job solely based on your skills here is how to do it go to relevel.com book a slot take a test of your choice once you receive your score make your candidate profile relevel would guide you through this process and you're done now companies would contact you for interviews based on your scores you can get a 100% refund of your registration fee if you get placed through relevel relevel is all set to conduct its first test very soon Don't worry the registrations are still open you can take the test at the comfort of your home get a 10% discount on your registration fee by using the coupon code planet10 go ahead and register at relevel.com before the slots are full the link is in the description how would you implement an sop function for an example a function with mean term 0 1 4 6 using multiplexers it may be either 8 is to 1 multiplexer 4 is to 1 multiplexer 2 is to 1 multiplexer and you might also be given conditions as in use minimum number of multiplexers and logic gates or use only multiplexers with no logic gates let's start with the 8 is to 1 multiplexer implementation firstly we'll represent our sop function that is m01467 in kmap format where only those terms that is 0 1 4 6 and 7 are 1 as you can see our function has three input variables a b and c and the kmap has eight terms the 8 is to 1 max also has eight input variables and three select lines so there's a direct mapping between the number of variables in our sop that is a b c 3 and the number of select lines the number of terms in our k map and the number of inputs let's allocate the three variables a b and c to our select lines such that the select line s2 represents the msb that is a followed by b and then c so now s2 s1 s0 when all are zero it would be the first box in our k map so 0 0 0 the input would be 1 when it's 0 0 1 that is a 0 b 0 and c 1 it would be this box that will again be 1 so i 0 i 1 i 2 is this last box that is 0 i 3 i 4 i 5 i 6 and i 7 So this would be the representation of our function using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Now let's see how we can represent our SOP function using a 4 is to 1 multiplexer. In a 4 is to 1 multiplexer, we'll have two select lines, but for our SOP expression, we have three variables a, b, and c. So we can select any two of these three variables for as our select lines. Let us take b and c as select line. since in our k map representation they appear together let us take b as s1 c as s0 so when b and c both are 0 0 it is this condition the first column of our k map where it is always 1 independent of a so we'll give i0 as 1 when b and c are 0 and 1 that is the second column of k map we can see that the output is negation of a or a bar 
So here when a was 0 we got 1, when a was 1 we got 0. So i1 will be a bar for bc10 that is the last column of k map. Again we can see that here the output follows a when a is 0 output is 0 when a is 1 output is 1. So you get a here. So i2 is a. When both are 1 you can see that when a is 0 we get 0 and a is 1 we get 1. So again when both are 1 it follows a. So i3 is also a. Lastly let's move on to using a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. Here we have only one select line but as before we have three variables a, b and c. We can take any one variable to be the select line. Let's take a. In this condition when a is 0 that is the first row of our k map the entire row. Here you need to try to look at a correlation between pc values and your output variable y. Here we can see that y is always b bar. Notice when b is 0 in these two conditions you are getting 1 but when b is 1 you are getting 0. So when a is 0 it is b bar but when a is 1 that is the second row of your k map that I represented with the box. Here y is 1 in these three conditions that is either when b is 1 or when c is 0. So this can be represented as b plus c bar. So when either b is 1 that is in these two conditions you got a 1 or when c is 0 you got a 1. So i1 that is when a is 1 it will be b plus c bar. Notice that in the representation using 2 is to 1 max and the previous 4 is to 1 max apart from the max we will also be needing basic gates. Here we are requiring two NOT gates and an OR gate. However if no other logic gates are provided and the question was to implement your SOP function only using multiplexers then you must first see the number of terms in the k map of your function and build a mux with those many input lines from the mux that is provided in your question for our question we had 8 terms in k map so we would require an 8 is to 1 mux but the question only provided 2 is to 1 mux so we have to first build an 8 is to 1 mux using the 2 is to 1 max tree and then proceed forward. This is same as the question we saw earlier. So this is now our 8 is to 1 max using 2 is to 1 maxes and as before the last max select line must be the MSB bit that would be A followed by B and then C and now these will be in order from I0 to I7. So based on your SOP function, the y that is i0 to i7 can be allocated as 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So m, 0, 1, 4, 6, 7 will be represented using 2 is to 1 maxes only in this format. You must be wondering why do I have to know how to implement logic functions using multiplexer? Isn't it simple to just solve the SOP function, obtain the expression and implement using logic gates? To answer to your question, when we synthesize an SOP function for implementation using FPGA, we get the following circuit. Like in my earlier videos, I wrote the Verilog code for the SOP question that was uh, min term 0, 1, 4, 6 and 7 that would result in this expression and then synthesized in Vivado for Xilinx Spartan 3 FPGA and got this as our synthesized schematic. You can see that an LUT is used here. 
the schematic does not contain any of these and or or gates to represent those min terms everything is handled just by a single lut so what is an lut lut stands for lookup table lookup table is internally just a tree of multiplexers we all know that fpgas are reconfigurable the reason for this reconfigurability is that the logic blocks or the units in the fpga consists of flip flops and lut's maxes in the lut make them reconfigurable the maxes in lut make them reconfigurable as we saw in the first question remember a single 2 is to 1 multiplexer could function as so many basic gates based on the input and select line configuration let's see the architecture of xilinx parton 3 lut the lut is a four input lut the number of inputs in lut correspond to the number of select lines of your max tree so we have four select lines here and hence it's a four input lut so lut has this max tree and also registers to store the input to the max tree let's see how to answer the same question framed in another format instead of max if you were asked to implement the same sop using a four input lut this would be our four input lut and as we saw previously the same sop function it requires only three variables a b and c but we have a four input lut so how do we map these three variables to the four inputs let's make the last select line as zero always followed by our msp that is a then b then c since we have selected this as zero always will only be using the bottom portion of the max tree we could have anyway selected it as one and used only the top portion so when it's since we've used zero as the last select line we'll be using only the bottom portion of the max tree we could have anyway selected it as one and use the top portion so with this as zero a as zero b as zero and c also as zero this would be our i zero and it would follow to i seven so here we can see from our k map i zero is one i one is one i two is zero so let's fill accordingly for these inputs which will never be used we can just assign them as zero so this is the implementation using a four input lut that's it for today's video if you find this useful please like the video and if you come across any other interesting question on multiplexer please post them in the comment section we'll try to answer them thank you